as the Browns prepare to go into, they always like OTA, you know, organized team activities, OTA. There can't be mini camps, they have those too, but it's, I always wondered, okay, so if they didn't call them OTA, what would they be? Disorganized team activities, DTAs? That almost sounds like a disease anyway. But, so the Browns are organized. Cody Kessler, as Hugh Jackson said, walks out the building, the starter. Now the question is, what kind of offense are the Browns going to build around Cody Kessler? They made some good moves in the offseason. Kevin Zeitler, best free agent offensive lineman you could sign, a guard, signed him. Uh, J.C. Treeter, top center when he's healthy, they signed him. So they really did upgrade the offensive line. But I'll tell you this, the Browns need to get a much better running game. I'm going to repeat that. The Browns need to get a much better running game because that is what will enable Kessler to be effective. Because you can't have Air Cody. It's not going to work. So I look at the Browns running backs, Isaiah Crowell, Duke Johnson. You know, they have Matthew Days as a seventh rounder they picked up. And then they also have Jabril Peppers. And Jabril Peppers was used in the backfield some in a wildcat and some just kind of a, to throw pitches to him by Michigan. One in exe NFL executive was telling me, he said, the Browns actually be wasting this kid's talent if they don't sometimes give him the ball besides just returning punts on special teams. So I wonder if Hugh Jackson will do something with him. Furthermore, I think the tight end position is going to be a very big deal for the Browns and Kessler because they could be very good sa safety valves and the rush is coming. David Nakanju was the best, most impressive player besides Miles Garrett. Yeah, okay. In the original rookie camps. Remember, those are the rookie camps, now we're organized. So, but uh, Nakanji really did look very good. And then also, Seth Devolve is the other point. Uh, they drafted him last year out of Princeton, big tight end, good receiver. So, I'm looking to see with that. I still wish the Browns had added another receiver. They have Kenny Britt. They're counting very much on Corey Coleman to have a big year. You know, Britt's a solid veteran. Coleman, we don't know exactly what he could do. You know, he's, he's got the uh, pedigree in terms of he was the top receiver in college football in 2015 when he was at Baylor. But last year he played two games, broke his hand, came back, dropped passes, seemed to struggle in cold weather, had basically a rookie season that was kind of a nightmare. So we'll see you know, how he does. You know, they're going to bring uh, Rashard Higgins as a receiver I've always kind of liked. Uh, but I just wish they had brought in uh, somebody else because they really didn't draft the receiver. You know, they're looking at maybe some other free agent guys. But that's one area where I think the upgrade is. But I really want to see this. Can the Browns run the ball better? Can they use their running backs more effectively?